Good morning, YouTube. Uh, it's been a little bit of a while since I've uploaded a video. Um, from the the uh, last video that I think I did was the Tenants from Hell version two, <clears throat> and uh, it is it is early. It is about uh, six thirty in the morning, and I've been. I don't know. I've been I've been kind of tossing the idea of this video around for a while. Um, <clears throat> I'm prone to some wild and crazy ideas every once in a while. Okay, more often than once in a while. Um, a buddy of mine has a race car, and he races at one of the local tracks, a uh, Volusia Speedway track or Barberville, and. Uh, I've always been into, you know, kind of race cars, and I'm not a huge NASCAR fan, but I've, I'm a, I am a big fan of the small guy. <clears throat> so, over this Christmas weekend or Christmas week, um, I had some friends over, and we got to talking about, and my boys were over, and <clears throat> we got to talking about uh, what it would take to build a race car and compete actually as a drivers and as a as a race team um, at Barberville Volusia Speedway Park <clears throat> um, we're gonna go we're gonna so <laughs> we've decided I've, I've put together a little bit of a budget uh, it's gonna be roughly roughly two thousand dollars for or my goal is closer to fifteen hundred but two thousand um, dollars we're going to buy a car, we're going to completely, you know, weld in the, the, uh, uh, the roll cage and, you know, gut the interior, which I found a car <clears throat> and the interior is already gutted, which is good. Um, but we're going to compete in what's called the Gladiator Series, which is the first, basically the base level, um, you take a car... Um, and there are requirements, um, and you take a car and you, um, basically gut it, <clears throat> but it stays stock. No engines and modifications, no suspension modifications, I mean, you can fix things that are broken, like, you know, fixing brakes and stuff like that, but you cannot, um, you can't put upgraded suspension and really big tires and, you know, all that type of stuff. This is supposed to be cheap, cheap racing. And then you take it out to the track on Saturday night, and uh, you run it, see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> so we have chosen um, a 1972 Volkswagen Type 1 Beetle, the original Volkswagen air-cooled Beetle. Um, they used to run them at the track 25 or 30 years ago when they were way more abundant, but the thing about the the air-cooled Beetles, and I, I've had a couple of Carmen Ghias, and um, I've never had a Beetle, but I've had a couple Carmen Ghias, and um, I've known guys with Beetles and buses and fastbacks. <clears throat> the neat thing about these cars is that um, there are so many aftermarket manufacturers, parts are really, really cheap. So... Um, and the whole idea, I mean, a lot of these guys are running, um, Acuras and Hondas and Dodge Neons, and the, the, the car that's out there that's really dominating now is the, uh, Chevrolet Cavalier with the 2 liter, or the 2.2 liter, I think it's a 2 liter motor, four cylinder front wheel drive, <clears throat> and the difference between what we're going to bring is a we're air cooled, so we're way easier um, mechanically, and b we're rear wheel drive versus the front wheel drive cars, so it's going to handle a little different than the front wheel drives. Um, we're going to start out with the Beetle. Um, I'm actually up early today because I'm headed to Georgia. I found a likely candidate that is. Uh, sufficiently roached out on the inside the interior is already gone the outside isn't bad not a lot of rust there is some rust <clears throat> but uh hold on there's a there's a train coming 
And there goes the train. One of the one of the really cool things about living in a historic house um, in Bonnell, Florida, is that um, we're right on the train track. And some people would say, "Oh my God, what about the noise?" In all honesty, I've been here almost ten years, and um, I don't even notice the noise anymore. I mean, I trains come through all night blowing their horns. I sleep right through it. In all honesty. <clears throat> so, anyways, I'm going to call this the fifteen hundred dollar. Um, dirt track dung beetle. We're gonna. I think we're gonna call it the dung beetle. Um, right now it's it's from the pictures that I've seen. It's yellow with a lot of black rattle can paint. Um, I don't know if that's a black primer or what it is, but um, there's a lot of it. <laughs> um, so we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it the fifteen hundred dollar uh, dirt track beetle. <laughs> And um, I'm, this series is going to be all about <clears throat> building and racing and driving and wrenching um, on this race car. And I'm going to take you along um, with video and, and whatnot. And um, the season starts in March. It's currently um, it's Thursday after Christmas, so I think it's 25, 26, 27. I think it's, today's the 27th or the 28th, maybe. It's a Thursday. And um, waiting for the wife, who's <laughs> really thrilled about being up this early in the morning to uh, go driving to Georgia to pick up the Beetle. But um, my buddy wasn't available, and I uh, thought I'd spend some time with the wife. You know, I mean, I've got her captured for two and a half hours in the truck. <laughs> maybe you know maybe we'll uh we'll stop and we'll have some breakfast or whatever but um yeah this is going to be called this is going to be called the $1500 um dirt track beetle race car or dirt track yeah dirt track beetle race car and it's going to be a series and we're going to build it and we're going to wrench it and we're going to drive it and uh I'm going to get a GoPro camera and mount it you know, up above my shoulder on the roll bar, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when I get welding, I'm gonna weld a bolt up in there, and, uh, I'll have footage from, um, <clears throat> from every race, so whatever happens, you'll be there, not really live, but you'll be there, um, to see what happens, so we'll go from, we'll go from, uh, nothing, which we have right now, um, we do have the option, if the, if the Beetle does not work out, um, then we do have the option of a Dodge Neon, which I already own. Um, in some of my previous videos, you'll see a Dodge Neon that we bought as a tow car. Uh, long story behind that, but um, if we go that direction, you know, we'll, we'll, start, we'll start a different series on that. But that car is something that we already own. Um, and it's got a lot of new parts, but I, I'm really, I'm really excited to, uh, run the air-cooled Beetle, um, because like I said, I'm, I'm, I've been an air-cooled guy in the past, and I've gotten out of it for more muscle, um, bigger motors and Hemis and, you know, all that fun stuff, which, you know, I, I really love as far as street cars, but, um, I think this, this thing's gonna be fun. It's a four-cylinder, uh, four-speed and we've got a couple of sponsors. Let me throw some uh, some shout outs to some of the to some of the sponsors that we've got. Um, Daytona Air Cooled um, <clears throat> is uh, agreed to be a, a sponsor, the main sponsor. And um, uh, Brett over at the Tire Pit in Bunnell for tires. And um, I don't have the lady's name for the vinyl lettering. Um, I got to get the name of her her store, but, um, the videos and the race, everything racing related will be at, um, and I'll, put, I'll put the, uh, website address down here at the bottom, um, shitbox500.com is going to be the domain name, and, um, <laughs> it's going to be a shitbox, that's what it's going to be, um, shitbox500, so shitbox and then the number 500.com, and we'll post all the current videos um, every every week uh, when there's a, a race video from Saturday night. 
and there'll be one video basically prepping, um, you know, with the prep and the ready, getting ready. I'll set up cameras in strategic locations, and uh, we'll see what happens. I hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean. <clears throat> I have no racing car experience. I mean, I do have a lot of driving experience, and I've done some track stuff, um, mainly go-karts and, you know, small, slow, competitive stuff, but um, nothing on this scale. So I'm uh, curious, and um, I could be taking my life into my own hands, but um, I'm going to buy a fire suit, which is required. I'm going to buy a helmet and gloves and the neck collar and special shoes and Nomex socks and, and all that fun stuff. And we're going to have a six-point roll bar in the car and a fire extinguisher and fuel shutoff and electrical shutoff and all that fun stuff. So <clears throat> it's going to be um, it's going to be fun. So I'm going to take you guys along. Um, this is not so much a project where my wife is going to be involved. She absolutely had, wants nothing to do with going to the racetrack on Saturday. Racing is not really her thing. She's, um, bad history with racing, uh, in Ohio and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I'm going to let it, I'm going to let this, this little segment of the video go, um, right now. And, um, we're going to be leaving here in just a little bit to, uh, to go pick up the pick up the dung beetle. We're gonna call it the dung beetle, I think. <laughs> All right. So um, until until we uh, check in here in a little while, we'll see you in a bit. All righty, all righty. <clears throat> we are well, well. I am and waiting for the lovely bride. We are loaded up in what is affectionately known as the pedo van. Um, my children named it that because it's a Dodge E uh, 3500 um, one ton van with the extended, you know, it's like a 17 passenger with the four seats and the, the whole thing. Um, it's got the big Hemi in it. It runs great. Um, bought it at an auction in Texas, drove it home, uh, uses a little oil, but that's what we're going to use to haul the, uh, haul the dung beetle home. So you can see, look out there. There's a car trailer back there. Car trailer. Can't really see it from inside, but there it is. <sighs> so it's um, about 8 o'clock in the morning, and we are uh, off about two and a half, almost three hours, to Georgia to pick up Beetle. So we'll check in with you in a little bit. So it's two days later, and she's still up on the trailer. We'll do a quick walk around. She's got some big holes for reference. Not quite as big as my fist, but if I had smaller fists, would be. She's got cancer, cancer, cancer. Lots of cancer. She's got a door panel on this side set of seats that aren't bolted in. Floor pans look decent. I don't know how decent, but we'll see. Headliner looks like it's in pretty good shape. We're going to be pulling that out because it's going to be a racer. The uh, rubber panel that's on here, that'll be coming out. The glove box which has a couple of various pieces and parts in it. We'll see about that. Um, there's no hood latches. There's no trunk latches except on the actual. Um, sounds good though. It's solid. Gas cap. So that's not bad. It's in pretty good shape, I guess. It's got a hole in the hood. Easiest way to fix that is to replace the hood. Um, it's got major cancer up front. We're going to be cutting that out of there. Trimming the front fenders. Transmission or transaxle. Transaxle. Motor. So, we look like we're in pretty good shape. 
Got some stripes on it, some racing stripes. Currently having a problem with the trailer. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take both ramps down. We're just gonna undo it and roll it off the back of the trailer. The distance isn't too bad and I think the clearance will be okay. A Little more cancer up around the top. A little more cancer down around the bottom and the fenders primarily. This fender is not really attached. Hence the reason for the strap. So back of the motor, motor does turn over. It's been in the weather for a day or so. We've had some rain and whatnot here. But overall, it is a 1973 Volkswagen Type 1 Beetle. Um, it is not a 72, it is a 73 according to the title and according to the VIN number. So when we get it down off the ground, we'll look at it a little more. Be back in a few. All right. I'm not 100% what's going to happen, but I know something's going to happen. Leave that right there. All right. a little bit on the trailer. It's okay, we're gonna cut that out. 